Hello everyone. Welcome to Nadi channel. Today I'm going to summarize what I've got from the video clip named The Biggest Challenge for Teachers by David Crito. And how can I apply what I have got from the video clip for my teaching? Firstly, he thought about the language chain. As Crito mentioned in his video, nowadays language is moving so fast for two main reasons which are the internet and globalization. Internet has a fate to language teaching in many fields. New words, new slangs, and new expressions are delight every day. Language seems moving faster than before having the internet. Students who use Facebook or any applications are one step ahead of the teacher in terms of knowing new words. Let's talk about the globalization. In the present day, English is used all over the world. There are many accents of English speaker, not only British or American English. It seems like he is a vocal advocate for teaching English as an international language. He suggested the way to teach English like preparing students at a young age to get familiar with other accents like Indian English, Nigerian English, or South African English. It depends on the teacher to shoot the accents that related to students or benefit them in the future. To teach a variety of English, the teacher should point out the differences of any kind of English and ask students to notice the different points of each accent. So, this way he will tune the ears of students. He recommended the way to teach students by combining the internet and globalization together. Like, let the students serve the internet to see the other accents of English in the world via YouTube, Google, Facebook, or Twitter. Let's talk about the next topic. How can I apply what I have got from the video clip for my teaching? For my teaching, I always use the internet to search for useful videos on YouTube, which native speaker of English upload their video and share for free. But from now on, I will try to search for a variety of English accents, for example, Chinese English, Japanese English, or Filipino English in order to help my students get familiar with other English accents and let them see the differences among those English. Now, almost all of the students in the class have smartphones, so it is a great opportunity to teach them search for English movie, English song, English talk show, something like that. If you want to see how I apply the internet for my teaching, I will leave the link in the box below. As I mentioned earlier, native speakers of English seem like a small group of people who use English compared to the number of English speakers worldwide. My students seem like they have no chance to practice English with English native speakers face to face. They go to normal test school, they learn English with Thai teachers. And what I have always taught them is that just speak out, no matter what English accent you speak, as long as the listener understands what you are intending to speak, that's the point. I do agree with David Crystal that the teacher should practice students to confront with a variety of English accents. So, from now on, I will allow my students to speak English with any accent they want. They might speak English with a primary accent. That's what I love. It is a great opportunity to show our dialect. In the future, you will never know that speaking English with a primary accent may be considered as a standard English. Thank you for watching. Bye.